What's the crack, lads? Happy Monday morning to you, and we are back with some big-time Barcelona. There's no legends today, so they've kind of switched it up a little bit. We do have big-time Barcelona. We have De Jong, Araujo, and Sergio Roberto in a pack of 150, and they're the highlight showtime players or big-time players, and we also have a Barcelona selection as well. No Pedri in there, which is a bit of a pity. No Felix, even though we've got a lot of Jao Felix cards, but we will start with Frankie De Jong. Okay, so De Jong goes to 30. 35 levels, Araujo goes to 33 I think, and Sergio Roberto's around that as well, but this guy looks insane, his booster is really really nice, ball control driven in tight position and low pass, which is the technique plus 2 booster, and of course you've got all the player skills that you could possibly want, I think De Jong is going to be an insane, insane centre midfielder that can actually bring the ball forward, right, so if you don't have Messi or you don't have one of the top tier attacking midfielders, De Jong is definitely going to fill that gap for you, especially if you're starting out He's an unbelievable player. Plus, the one unique thing about him is he can shoot. Now, I know he can play centre-back as well. If you guys want to see a build for him playing centre-back, I personally wouldn't play him there or I wouldn't play him as a defensive player. Even though his aggression, that can go very high and his defensive stats are very solid. Look at this build that we actually have for him here over on eFootball DB. So we've gone 6 into shooting, 8 to passing and dribbling, 12 to dexterity, 7 to lower body and 2 to defending. And that is going to give us an absolute animal, right? including the fact that we're going to be getting a plus four to ball control, dribble and tight possession and low pass with the manager boost and, of course, with his booster boost, okay? So you're going to have a low pass at 96, tight possession at 92, dribbling at 85 and, of course, ball control at 89. It's a really, really strong card. I definitely will be interested in getting this one, even though I probably won't fit him into my squad. And then the rest of it then, the high aggression, 90 finishing as well is insane for this card. And of course, you're going to have speed and acceleration into the 85 zone. It's a really solid card and definitely a legend type killer card is what I would call this, right? Um, couple that with his player skills as well, right? We also have Araujo, who I think is probably the pick of him. This guy is from the big time March 2022 uh, game. Booster is going to be, again, dueling plus two. So that's going to give an increase to his defensive awareness, tackling speed, and stamina. So it means that we don't actually need to train him up that if, that that much by wasting, well, not wasting, but by using stats um, and training up his speed. Because you do need to have a little mobility and versatility with your center backs, I think now. Excellent player skills, blocker, interception, area superiority, sliding tackle, and acrobatic clearance. He also has man marking, heading, and fighting spirit. What more could you possibly want? Maybe one touch pass, but then one touch pass can be, you know, put on to pretty much anyone, even a goalkeeper, because it's such a unique skill um, in terms of its its popularity and stuff, right? But this is the build that we've gone for, right? So we've actually popped three into lower body, six into aerial strength, 18 into defending, and then three into goalkeeper one, okay, down the left-hand side there. And this is the build that you're going to get. Now, bear in mind, okay, that we're going to be getting the booster with this card, and also, we're going to be getting a plus four to defensive awareness and tackling. And we're also going to have every one of his defensive stats into the 90 zone. I mean, defensive engagement is going to be maxed out. This guy's going to be a menace, lads. Absolutely menace at the back. And on top of that, you've got his height at 188 centimeters, right? And you've got every player skill that you could possibly want. Added to that, you're going to have his physical contact, jump, and header all insanely high for a player of this ability with these skills in these positions. Now, this build is for center back. He goes to 100 overall with this build, right? You're going to have 83 speed, 83 acceleration. If you've got 10 hag, that's going to go to 86. If you've got a regular manager, that's going to go to 85. And his acceleration is going to be 85 as well. There's no weaknesses in this card, lads. Even his low passing and lofted passing is insane. He's got 71 finishing and 73 ball control without touching it. And that's given him maxed out defensive stats as well. You don't even need to go that high with the defensive stats. You could actually go there um, and save yourself five points. And you could pop it into dribbling if you wanted to go there. You could pop it into dexterity if you wanted to hit nearly 90 acceleration. It's an insane card, lads. Genuinely, it is a really, really, really insane card. Um, but that is the build that we would probably go with if we were playing him as our versatile kind of center back, right? A ridiculously overpowered card. And then we also have Sergio Roberto, right? So Roberto is also down as a whole player, okay? So we'll have a look at his card here before we do the build. And then we'll just briefly go through some other bits and pieces. And make sure you keep an eye on the end of the video because you don't want to miss the, the new player either that they've added to the eFootball Point shop, okay? So low pass. Lofted pass, curl, and kick and power. Not the best booster, but he is down as a whole player. Blocker and super sub. I don't think 
Uh, any player is going to really have one touch pass blocker and super sub with pinpoint crossing. It's 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 a really nice card. He also has first time shot and acrobatic finishing. As far as I remember, that's from when he scored the winner against PSG. Uh, am I wrong? I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's when. I didn't look it up. I didn't Google it. Um, but that reminds me of that finish that he got in the last second uh, to put Barcelona through. I think it was like a crazy game of like, what was it, 6-1 six, six, or something like that. I don't know what it was. But anyway, that is the build that we have gone for there. So you've got 5, 10, 11, 7, 6, and 3. And this is a really, really solid card. The reason we've put 3 into defending lads is to get that aggression up and to get the defensive engagement up and the tackling over 75 the more players you can have in your squad that have got fighting spirit and that are able to win the ball back for you no matter where you play them it's it's going to be a positive not the strongest card but definitely one that i would i would be interested in getting and i love sergio roberto lads we also have Lewandowski. We're just going to give a quick run through of these and their builds. So this is the build that we've gone for with Lewandowski. Five into shooting, six dribbling, 13 dexterity, six lower body and four aerial strength. Listen, at this stage in the game, I don't think Lewandowski is, uh, you know, a meta type player. Um, obviously, when you've got the likes of Collar and you've got the likes of Stoichkov and you've got the likes of Adriano still knocking about. And even the likes of Haaland now, a lot of people are back using Haaland or Harry Kane again for a target man. Um, but I don't really think that Lewandowski is going to be the one for you. Uh, he's on E form as well. If you see there, he is actually on E rating this week. And of course, he is down as a goal poacher. I know I like goal poacher if you want to have something a little bit more advanced. Um, but his offensive awareness and finishing is all you're really going to be getting here. You can get players with these stats and this height and this physicality with this speed and acceleration maxed up a little bit more as well, right? We also have Ter Stegen, so that's the build we've gone for with Ter Stegen. 9, 8, 10, and 1 into aerial strength. There's the stats there. Again, I'm not going to spend too long on Ter Stegen or any of these players because you know what you're getting with them. Um, the game has been out a long enough time now. If you haven't played this game for a while... Um, or if you're a newcomer to the game, any of these players that you get will be an upgrade. Trust me, they'll be an upgrade if you are going to be spinning. Gavi is a very interesting one, right? So that's the build we've got for Gavi. 8, 6, 10, 10 into passing, dribbling, dexterity, lower body, and then 4 into defending. Again, using that to get the aggression up. Let's Trust me when I say this, right? You will see a lot of builds now that V3.2 has changed. But trust me, I have tested out a lot of stuff. Aggression is a very key stat now. And you can also see that a lot of players are having their balance adjusted and their tight possession further adjusted from V3.1 to V3.2. So that is the build for Gabby, very solid player. We also have Balde. You know what you're getting with Balde. He's a really good attacking left back, kind of like a Roberto Carlos Light. Um, so he's really got, he's got some nice player skills and stuff like that. We have Ferran Torres, who's down as a 94 left winger here. Again, speed and acceleration, uh, dribbling all into the 90 zone with the manager boost. Very, very solid. 699, as a build. And of course, we have Rafinha here as well. 99105, uh, a very solid winger. But you know what you're getting with him, lads. It's just pure pace and power uh, on that flank. We have Ramau as well, who's down as a destroyer. This guy is not bad, lads. He's not bad at all. I mean, he's just an average DMF um, destroyer. He doesn't have the legs or the speed or the acceleration of some of the other guys. He also doesn't have the jump, but he does have fairly nice physical contact and his defensive stats are always good. So he's definitely worth a, pot, a pop if you have got him. And then last but not least, with this pack, we have Marcus Alonso, okay? So again, similar uh, player to his standard card, but just more versions of the card, right? So all of these cards are pretty decent, lads. It's not a bad selection at all um, when we go back through this. But I want to bring your attention, lads, to the eFootball Point shop because they have finally, finally added a pretty decent card into it. And it's not a legend, it is Ferran. So this guy, or Fermin, this guy is a very, very good guy, Fermin Lopez. Very, very solid card. He's down as a whole player. So if you want to test out a whole player and you're new to the game, this guy, you could do worse than this guy. Now, you will have to train up a couple of skills. He definitely 100% needs, in my opinion, he needs one touch pass at a bare minimum if you are going to be playing him centrally, um, especially because his stats won't go as high as the rest of the cards. But he does have a face update uh, a little bit. It's not still, you know, the best, obviously. But level at 33 levels is pretty decent. And if I was going to train him up, lads, right, this is probably where I would go with it. I'll do it here just to close out the video. Because I'm going to be playing him as an attacking midfielder type player, with the manager boost, I'm going to be getting a plus two to that. So 10 into passing. We're also going to go 10 in, or 9 into dribbling. And then we're going to go probably 
uh, 11 into acceleration uh, or into dexterity to get that acceleration and most importantly the balance up and then the rest into speed and stamina that's all we really need for a card like this it's a very solid entry level hole player to test out if you don't want to spin and i definitely think and you know appreciate that they've added this card for free to play players on my free to play account i'll definitely be snapping them up and even in my main account i might test them out for you guys as well as ever, lads, if there is any in-depth player reviews with gameplay or anything that you guys want to watch or see from any of these, if you want to spin, let me know in the comments below and I will get on that for the content grind as we usually do. Otherwise, lads, don't forget to like and subscribe. We will be back very, very soon and I'll talk to you later. Peace.